the real beginning was probably about a year and a half ago. Um, I came home from work one day. I was working at the Olive Garden. It sucked, and I hated my job. And we, we were just like in Fitchburg, living downtown, having nothing to do. And um, one of our old um, roommates... And Ryan just went downtown, went to the Rollstone Gallery, and just were like, hey, you know, what about having shows here? And they weren't really into it. And he's like, well, maybe we could just get our own spot. And so the idea evolved into, well, there's lots of empty storefronts on Main Street. If we were tax deductible, maybe <laughs> these landlords would let us be there for free. We were kind of talking about, well, there's no place to play. There's, you know, very little to do around here, and there was a big problem with the fact that on a Saturday night or Friday night or whenever, whenever you wanted entertainment, you would leave Fitchburg. They had a name, and they had like a whole idea of what they actually wanted to do something, not just random events in Fitchburg. Because I've never heard of that before, like I've never, especially Fitchburg, like no one ever says like, oh yeah, let's go to Fitchburg for something. It's more like... We leave Fitchburg for something. We would all kind of like go in on rent, and um, I remember thinking, that's not gonna work. That's stupid. Like, I, I didn't, you know, I wasn't like, that's a dumb idea, because like, it's a, I thought it was a great idea, I just didn't think it was gonna work. Um, and for a long time I had that mindset, like, this isn't gonna work. Like, you know, whatever, I'm not even gonna like focus on it. And then like, when they actually opened the first gallery, uh, I was like kind of in shock. Our whole entire um, idea was that nobody would ever be denied for their art. Um, there was no critiquing process. We, we weren't going to do any of that bullshit. I mean, it was going to be, you bring something into us, it's going to go up on the wall. We wanted to start a place where you know, someone was always there. You could just walk in and like do what you wanted. You know, like art, you know, we'd have people there always like willing to help you with what you needed to do. Like if you wanted to learn a chord on a guitar, we'd teach you. You know, if you wanted to come in and you wanted to draw with us, like, we'd do that. We want these kids to have a real outlet for, for their creativity, for their imagination. And, you know, it's not limited to kids. I mean, if you're 60, come on in. You know, we've had people playing bands that are in their 50s, and, you know. Uh, we've had kids as young as, like, 14 playing in bands that have come here, which is great. I want that, that mix um, because Fitchburg is generally just this kind of uh, cool place where, you know, it's a lot of great people, but they don't know each other. And this was kind of the remedy for that too, where it's like, okay, well, you have your central meeting place. Come on in. There were some issues and we basically were, you know, forced to move. I wasn't there. I was told that I didn't have to work that night because we didn't expect what, you know, what was going to happen. So I, I went to do something else with the intention of attempting to come to the end of the show at least. Um, and I got a phone call from Bridget. There was a fight. Yeah, there was like some hardcore moshing, and and so we called off the show and we told everybody to leave. And as they were outside. Um, basically debating, okay, do we just not let those kids come in and let the kids that book the show come in and have their show still? And as that was going on, a fight broke out because apparently the kids that were there that, that night knew kids in Fitchburg that hated them and, I don't know, there was gang involvement. And our windows became a casualty, an umbrella became a casualty. And it was just awful, like, one of the most horrifying experiences of my life because of stupid kids that even like some of those kids like I knew them and they were seeing like how cool it was that this place existed and because of like whatever problems they were having with other people they decided to like take that away. Basically we've been getting about between two and five emails a week from national bands that want to play Umbrella. We're looking to in the meantime have a few a few things going on that are kind of sponsored by Umbrella um, and are kind of like, you know, stuff you would find at Umbrella Gallery, but not necessarily in a solid location. Yeah. Dave Streb over at the Unitarian Universalist Church um, 
had suggested we do some events there. I mean, Hooligans was supportive. Um, the Rabbit Hole's always been a big supporter. Uh, you know, we have other places, um, 119 Gallery in Lowell that we work with, Brute Awakening in Lowell. Um, you know, we'll work generally anywhere. Yeah. I mean, we try not to do 21 plus or 18 plus shows. We like to keep them all ages, but sometimes we can. The mayor has helped us a lot. She's an incredibly busy person. And um, honestly, it's kind of amazing that she cares so much about what we're doing. <laughs> Given how important and busy she is, I mean, right now she's at a conference in D.C. about the EPA. So the fact that she could still text me back and be like, <laughs> yeah, you know. Um, so she, she's definitely been a major help, um, and she's definitely helping make this city way better than it was. So. for someone that's responsible for like showing someone the younger person that there's like people out there that really care about them that you know aren't their family like because you know being someone that was like weird I was weird in high school like, I, I was a weird kid um, and knowing that the only people that loved me were people that you know, were obligated to which isn't awful you know family's really supportive and everything but like, that's why friends are so important to teenagers. Um, because someone that doesn't have to love you, they don't, they're not obligated to. Like, I'm not obligated to love these kids, but I do. Like, I love them, you know? Like, I want to help them. Like, I want to show them that there's, like, people out there that are good people. You know, like, there are people like me that, like, you know, have had shitty lives and, you know, was weird like them and, like, got made fun of in high school. But you know what? I don't care. Like, I'm good now. I, I was good at the gallery. <laughs> I was good when I was there, but you know, you have to be like a role model. And like, I never really realized like how good it feels to be that for someone. So that's why I loved working at the gallery so much. Because I could show someone that reminded me of myself when I was younger, that didn't feel welcome anywhere.